Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Massive Podcast with me, Big Massive Ronan, and over there, we Tiny Nile. And in the middle, we've got a return of Belfast comedian and Protestant. Don't know why I'm talking at him. <laughs> That's important. It's like, no, because don't just judge, think I'm where we take a podcast. I mean, we've got the, we get the odd one on. And I, I was expecting you to still have the ash on your forehead. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> There's a, I do want to see the size of the, the priest that we were, that does Melmont. He's got the biggest thumbs in Straban. Right. Everybody's running around like blackface. Is that the one I met the last time I was on the podcast? <laughs> so I did meet him. That's it. So we're bringing you back because the last time you were on the podcast, Ian, that was audio. That's r- No, no, we did a wee video what? as well. I think. No, it was photos. Huh? I wanted you back because of the hair. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a tribute. Actually, to, fuck it. It's a tribute to Jim Allister. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's what it looks like. I think what the last time we made a what we did was record. We never threw out the full. No, we didn't record that one. I remember it was an audio because we just did audio for Patreon and video for the main one. Oh, anyway, can't remember. Last that was just somebody the back boxing, home. wasn't it? Aye, because right. uh, we were training that day. Uh, were you invited to the boxing last time? Yeah. Uh, are, are you, you fighting? fighting? Are you fighting? Johnny Bo, aye. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm planning on throwing two punches this time, so he's been warned. <laughs> Do you remember his fight in the last one? Uh, who were you fighting? Cormac. We were the first fight. Yes, uh, that was a good fight, wasn't it? No. Do you remember? <laughs> it was a good no. fight for Cormac. Uh, he had, Cormac just, I think Cormac did a bit of boxing or something. Kickboxing kick boxing or something. I think, yeah, uh, and he went to town. But he had, he had the fake ball bag, remember, swinging? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> that was perfect. That wasn't fake, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping about and that fucking doing the swings. No? It's all funny you can look at. It's funny if it's a decent fight, but if you're getting battered, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, it was funny because he was getting battered, but was swinging about. It, it was actually, that was the highlight of the fight for me, was just the look on Cormac's face when we come out for the third round. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> then he realised. <laughs> the peripherals are just in this fucking bag. Fucking it was like, out. distracted him for 10 seconds before he continued uh. to pummel me. <laughs> what he called, I enjoy a McCarney story about him and Mickey, the agreement they had on the third round that they were going to like... They were going to do something, so Mickey started dancing. But McKinney says, "Like you have the thing in and the head thing, and he can't hear anything." Mm. So he says, "Mickey heard something." And then he started doing. He's like, "He was taking the, the pass. He was doing like the hacker." Ah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, McKinney went, well, "I don't know what he's doing." Bang! <laughs> <laughs> <A> box. <laughs> Mickey was so. The two, Mickey kept saying to McKinney, "The oh, boys will not even hit each other. We'll get to the middle and start laughing." All just went out. Punch the head. Oh, yeah. Some good fights this time. I'm walking forward. Mm. Paddy and Mickey be a good fight. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and then, Shane's uh, fighting Sean Haggerty. Sean and them? Sean did yeah. well against Big. What's that? There I must be a weight difference there. No, they'd be around the same. I think that's uh, more. I wouldn't say there's too much. Uh, Sean looks a wee bit bulkier, but I don't know. I think Shane. He just uh, there's more to him than meets the eye. Aye. Uh, How so? Uh, I don't know. I think he like he always looks quite. He's in this fitness skinny he's in this. when, when Aye, you see him on stage, but he's like he, he puts in the he's like ripped the hours. The like he he probably trained more seriously than a lot of people for it. Like what's the training? Shane this must be he's Shet's personality, not the, whatever he puts his mind to. It's a hundred percent. Like yeah, that's Have you it. Started training you. Have a fuck. Why did they pick me? They <laughs> went. Jesus, Johnny and fucking Ian got way kickings. I know. Put them together and give one of them a one. Johnny actually messaged me a couple of weeks ago and he was like, have you started training it? I was like, nah, have you? And then I was like, I'm going on an all-inclusive family holiday at the end of March. And he was like, oh, that's good. I'm going to Ibiza in May. <laughs> <laughs> a month before it. Wait until they're out of the way. It's on a Wednesday night, do you think? That's right, It's a strange one. Yeah. I'm still sell it. Oh, I. It's yeah. Good it's an um, event. Like we were saying, it's an event. You don't need to be. It doesn't always need to be a rap. Like people don't need to be on the fucking rap every time. I think Mikey Bardo's doing a double here the night after, so we could. Be oh, is he? Uh, so get the wheelchair ready. Kind of <laughs> Whenever McCarney came onto the live. Pod maybe maybe if you have a concussion, you might be allowed to be here. Maybe you could say that properly. <laughs> I was trying to think. Of, <laughs> I was. I was, I was, I was <laughs> you can cost. I was trying to think of the word concussion right up to the second. I was so I was kind you of like big foot. The first the half of that sentence was delaying. And then the con- <laughs> captain gave me a concussion. Came out. I had to give me abuse. It's weird seeing this room fully lit. Aye. It's usually fully lit the other way. With exactly. Hallions. You were the first 
That's right. Well, yeah. I was the first on the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As MC. Yeah. But you were the first act to do the ballroom. Aye. Two and a half years ago this month. Is it? Mm. me. Flew it. Remember it well, huh? That, was, that was a great night. Like, Look, we even opened that. That was an open mic. Well, we charged three pounds on them, which is like be good to have an open mic that people attended. And I think you came off and William came off and says that's a normal club there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the energy and all that? We just had to settle Man, I just remember William, like every other sentence, someone was fucking. <laughs> 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 Definitely. And it was like, I think it was Jordan on as well? Yeah, that's right. So I, so three and Protestants. Eamon, on I can't remember who the other act was. But uh, I remember that was the time Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs was up in court and there was some woman just kept heckling William and he turned around and he just goes, look, I don't give a fuck that you're a woman. I'm disabled, so I'll come down there like fucking Ryan Giggs in a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I was a cracker. I think uh, Jordan got your son. Aye, oh, the, the, the Predator t-shirt? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What does it, it say? You, you always wear your vocation on your top? Uh, <laughs> Aye, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, did you get that free when you signed the register? That's <laughs> <laughs> a cracker. I, because uh, the last time I was in here, there's, you know, I randomly accused someone of being a child sex offender, and then uh, the next day, when I was checking out of the hotel, I was like, that was my boyfriend last year. And Heath, they thought I must have known it all, because I was saying, oh, Nah, but back. it was a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you do that to crack her butt? But uh, you bumped under the girlfriend of the boy you were calling a pedo? Aye, she was checking me out of the, the hotel <laughs> the next morning. That's your like, you Did you enjoy your, your stay, sir? And I was like, yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. Thanks very much. Nice breakfast. Well, and anyway. That was my boyfriend you called a pedo last night. <laughs> <laughs> <That's, laughs> ah, she nearly said the The thing one. was, she's 12. So. <laughs> <laughs> Seen a, crack- the playground. seen a cracker one yesterday it was like um, one in three people that live on the street one in three people that live on your street are pedos it's like not me I live between I live beside two hot ten year olds so you stay in the fir trees did you yeah because uh, I think the next day we were training we did a bit of training oh then, uh, that's right uh, that's when I did the pod I did the podcast as well yeah right. I had some room at Keezy always said his first time he just came in and got up and then at the end the lights went on he thought there was about 100 people aye yeah yeah. but there's 50 there's a few wee rooms like that like aye I love brickwork as well sort of like that aye you yeah. know it always gets a I'm back there in March I'm not done it for ages class are you just okay. back from New Zealand yep we were there over Christmas are they so. remaking Lord of the Rings Oh, I, yeah, that's why I'm growing the hair. Spiegel. I'm, <laughs> I'm in the work this time. Um, what was the crack in New Zealand? Well, that's where my missus is from. So uh, that's like the fourth time I've been there, I Are think. Are they prods in New Zealand as well? Oh, I, man, I could not fucking believe, right, the very first time we went there. Um, went up there at mum and dad's house, and I went out the back. And it was just like you have a class view over Dunedin. I just looked into the neighbour's house and there's a big fucking Ulster flag with a red hand and a uh, fucking uh, Scottish uh, flag beside it. You were like, like, my pressure. Did you go down? Huh? Did you go to? Did a fuck. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the worst though was we were there in 2019 and we were out for uh, just a couple of drinks with like mates of Shona's. Like, was it not super a- expensive over there? No, 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 no. It's probably about the same as here, really. Like, but um, expensive, eh? I remember yeah. we were sitting there having a couple of drinks, and we we're sitting outside this bar. And I was like, after a while, I was like, "Fuck it, love a smoke." Like, and this boy kept coming out for a cigarette, and eventually, I just got up and went over and was like, "Sorry, mate, do you mind if I uh, tap a fag off you?" And he was just, <laughs> he was just staring at me, and he was like, uh, "Where are you from?" And I was like, uh, "Belfast in Ireland," and he was just like, "Right, I." There and he gave me a cigarette and then he just goes, Are you in the orange order? And I was like, No, and he goes, I am and I was like, Oh no I swear to fuck. <laughs> and wait, they wait, get, why would you start with that? Man, he was I uh, thought you were gonna I was like an Australian, you don't say fag over there or No, 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 no. Um we did have sex in the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, he just he was uh fuck me. He was a lunatic like and immediately I was just like How the fuck did I end up with this guy uh, like um, but he started going on. He, he just started going off on one, and he, like, I could just remember he said, "He goes, we need to go to the Vatican and kick the doors in and beat the fuck out of him." And I was standing, <laughs> just going, "What the fuck?" 
<laughs> and I was like, I was like, do you know what like like, You're one of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so I was like, like, I might grow my hair like Gemma Oster. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> but no, he goes, uh, like I said to him, I was like, look, have you ever been to Ireland or Northern Ireland? He's like, no. And I was like, I think you would be very oh, surprised. This, oh, this, this wasn't a, no, no, an, he was a fucking Kiwi. Like, shut up. I, so, uh, and then we got back. Does he know we're not all on the van again? Huh? Oh, God. I was about, uh, it was about three weeks later. There was the big mass shooting in the, the mosque in Christchurch. And all the first reports on the news was like the guy wasn't from Christchurch. He was from Dunedin and had driven up. And Shona was instantly like, I bet you was up. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I was waiting for the news to break to see his face. Going, oh, at least he gave me a fag. Like, Best friends with Ian Thompson. <laughs> yeah. That's a, you get that too whenever I was over in America too. You get Americans all about the IRA and they just having a clue what's going on. And, oh, I. Do you know what I mean? Get them English out of there and all. Yeah. If yeah. I was there, you know all this shit. That's just Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's like that. So how often do you go to New Zealand? Uh, not too often, man. It's a fucking fortune like for four of us. Mm, so... Nice. Uh, her mum was meant to be coming here, but she's 86 and she's waiting on a hip operation. So we went out and we didn't get travelling about as much because her ma's not very mobile these days. Oh, she walk here, does she? Huh? Yeah, usually. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> fair play to her, like. Um, That's the thing about planes, you know, you get sat down. Takes right? her a couple of weeks. Um, but no, uh, I think hours, the first time we was there was 2007 and that was before kids around. So about, about six weeks, just travelled around the country. Class. It's class, so. Uh, but I've heard of, uh, we have an Australian friend that says that the doormen in Australia are always the Maori from New Zealand and they're always massive. Yeah, Did you know that you see a lot of massive, but for a small continent, but what's the population? It's the same as Ireland, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I think you're trying to see them with 8 million or something. I, I forgot to ask anyone. Do they, <laughs> think, do they think you're a small I would have read the fucking... No, I, like there's one of the, uh, Shona's best mates is Maori and her husband is Tongan. And he's like, I was looking at him trying to work out if he would be wider than like Dave Elliott, uh, but he's just like I've never. He looks like fucking uh, what do you call it, Maui? You know, you know what Tongan sounds like. <laughs> 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 ah, but no, I remember like nice see wee ginger. Aye, White. exactly. Nice. I remember fucking being over there in about 2011, and their son, who's like half. Half Tong and half Maori he was about three, and he was running at me with a rugby ball in the garden. I was like, He's gonna fucking hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> you fucking getting yourself ready. You got that. You know what? What's that film? Moana? No. Back in the day. It's about all the Maori. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Once Were Warriors. Once what were, a uh, The end of that just to Jake scare the fuck out of me. Yeah. Like when they the, realize, when he, the knows, when he finds out the uncle, Aye. and they leave him in the bar, he's like, Oh my god, you're fucking. You're mm. super dead. You're more than dead. Oh, you knew he's how quick. They could cut down the tree member first. Aye. Just mental case, cut a whole tree down. But it was some acting. He's in pages of stuff from there since. Ah, that's right. Yeah, he was in some of the Marvel Speed films and all that. Like, he's been in loads of stuff. Star Wars too. Uh, but what a show. Probably Lord of the Rings. Second one wasn't as good. <laughs> I've uh, won in New Zealand was in Lord of the Rings at some stage. Like. Uh, sort of like what I call it here. Uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Uh, I've never seen. What's the scenery? You ever seen over? Game of Thrones? The scenery? Unbelievable. Like, see, for such a small country, there's a real variation. So up the top of the North Island's like, tropical. Um, and then down at the south is, like, the nearest bit of land to Antarctica. Before it's, there's fucking penguins and all I that. I didn't know the parts of Australia snowed. Did you do that? Did you know what? Did I do that? Did no, I? I definitely did <laughs> not There's ski, ski resorts. I just like to say did I definitely know did not put snow in Australia. Did you right? know there's ski resorts in Australia? Uh, is there bad? There's ones in New Zealand. Jamie, like, Google it. What? <laughs> there, is New that Zealand? a little unboiled fact? Well, an Australian told me so. Unless he's fucking, he's a cunt too. Who? Hey? You can't, John. You can't. Let's find out. I fucking turn around. Ski there. resort. In Australia. I just thought the whole place was just a desert. Well, it's fucking massive. There must it be. It is. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to geography there. You're thinking Austria, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, you know what? He did say that, but it could be... Okay. Yeah, man, fuck's sake. What do you mean? Oh, man, you see, uh, speaking of Austria, there was an, an Austrian lady. Well? 
Seems like there is. A See right? whenever I get so on right. See the, the the way he down fucking plays it. <laughs> what? She's like, do you know what the second means? I just love if I can See back before Google, do you no, remember how an argument? He's a typo, it is all straight, put it. <laughs> <laughs> Had a speech ready. Really. Fucking scroll on it. But do you know when you have mates and they fucking would argue black and blue about a thing that you know you're right about? Uh-huh. And even though you're the only one in the room and you go and research it and get proof and then when you fucking display the proof, oh, it'll do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but you understand you're wrong, 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 wrong. Like, we have to dispute no, it because you, most no, of the time you're wrong. Going, fucking yes. He says nobody steals anything in China. That was the main one, wasn't no, it? Dubai, was it? <laughs> Japan? <laughs> no, I said China. <laughs> and then I said it again, but I said China, Japan the next time. <laughs> same, same about exact same step, but a completely different country. I was talking about bicycles. I was being racist. Wouldn't Where expect is? anything less. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? They're, uh, Maybe we took him proud. There's, a, <laughs> there's a, fella, a fella I work with, right? He's a bit of a lunatic. and uh, You've done a bit on him? We do. No, it's not that one. Uh, <laughs> so they're all lunatics then? That boy's but the best. No, he, he, just, he can't help himself. Like It's just you know old school culture. And, uh, like He just accidentally comes out with racist stuff all uh, the time. But there was one... One time he was saying something, and like me and the other fellow were out in the van, just turned around and he goes, your wife's Chinese, isn't she? And I was like, well, she's, she's from Hong Kong, but she's ethnically Chinese. And he immediately just went, I had a lasagna last night. It was lovely. Just tried to change the subject completely. <laughs> but for about three years, when I started working for the company, he was convinced that my missus was Chinese. And he must have said to me twice. And why is that a thing? He goes, sorry, he goes, I... I hope you won't be offended when I ask you this now, but didn't you tell me one time that your wife's Chinese? <laughs> and I was like, it was only a wind-up. And despite the fact that I told him two or three times, it didn't process. I like he Rodney. just kept... Um, I, exactly, <laughs> I Dave. Dave. That's fucking brilliant. That's uh, why there's every so often... And, and we work. were talking about that last week, sorry. Talal was on, and he was on about his nickname, Topsoy, from school. <laughs> and we told the story that... There was no black men in Strabane. Aye. The only black people clip. seen as British soldiers. And I was like, what the fuck? No, and they're always big for some reason. Well, you or we, everybody is big. Like, gear on the whole episode is the only time you've seen it. But anybody with a tan in our class got called the N-word. Aye, well, that's... Vittorio Angeloni has a bit about that. His <laughs> dad, because his dad came over from Italy. Uh, and he said that was what everyone called him. Aye, uh, um, the N-word? Yeah. And just because he's... Uh, and he's pure white. See, when I was at school, like, there was a... Uh, there was a fella in the boarding department from the Gambia called Abu Khan. He stayed in there. He was hilarious. Like, Aye. But he, honestly, he was one of the few black people in Belfast at the time. And, like, you would walk into town with him and people would be like, all right, Abu. And I'd be like, who's that? And he goes, I have no idea. Just like, famous Just because. everyone knew him. Uh, but he, he had a guardian who was, like, local Belfast woman. And I think she had been doing missionary work in Africa or something and befriended his mum. And his mum was like, oh, he's not going to get a proper education in the Gambia. And she was like, well, look, if he comes to boarding school in Belfast, I can take him at the weekends and all. And then the and guardian... Did you see him because he's black? You wanted to be his friend? Uh, no, he was he was sound and hilarious. <laughs> like, uh, But uh, the guardian ended up getting cancer. And she was in the, uh, the Belfast City Hospital, you know, the big yellow tower block. And I remember, like... Uh, after school going with him to visit his guardian and we get in to the lift on the ground floor and this woman got got in with a, a wee boy who must have been three or four and he was just like <laughs> what a man mommy mommy and she goes shh <laughs> and was like, but mommy mommy and she was just like jimmy shut up she just start fucking hitting buttons trying to get out of soon and then like as soon as uh, the doors opened, she just dragged the kid out. <laughs> you just heard Abba going, ha, ha, ha. I don't think she's ever seen an N word before. <laughs> <laughs> you can sure, the, the, the last day we talked about that too, it brought back a memory. I used to play with Fun Harps back in the day. So, Donegal, like uh-huh. all, all white, mm. culty Donegal men. <laughs> and one of the guys was also called the N word, but not because he was tan, because he was really hairy. So, he had like thick black hair. <laughs> <laughs> all over his body King Kong so he was called N word as well but one of the days we signed an actual black man right mm. so in training uh-huh. he was like cross the ball N word and I was like <laughs> oh, the man I was no. like guys this is going to have to stop because <laughs> no, up until this point it was okay but now there was a black man had signed for the team that had to <laughs> stop up until that point it was no ball that was rife think about this eeny meeny miny mo oh I, I. 
We so all that's, we all did the whole thing. That's uh, that's another one I can we remember. We did the ho- right up to the end word. We sang out, uh, not even knowing we were doing anything. Tiger, yeah. Catch by the two. Tiger eye. Tiger eye. That's uh, what, what did you say? We went to no way ninja. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> catch a ninja by the two. Hmm. But you were talking about the time whenever we nearly got killed over in America. Cousins. Oh man, that story. That's fucking true. They can be uncle and all. We're like. Big pair of knickers. Big pair of knickers. And, and just anybody here knows it's just underwear. Aye. Over Aye. there, it's not. Yeah. Especially it's when you shout them from the top of the diving board. <laughs> knickers! That sounded like you had something. <laughs> it sounds like it's, it's like, and oh. it's mad, and, and out of context, it can get you killed. Yep. Yep. Because people of Northern Ireland. See, whenever I was in the. the, the so I was in jail in America for a wee while. And I was in Saw Blacks, like, like. The, you go in there, you're the minority. You know what I mean? So I was just like, here, going in, there was black to say, oh, we're Irish, because there's Murphys and all. You know what I mean? No, you're thinking, the slave driver must have lived the business there. You know what I mean? But I don't know, but they always said, so what happened was, a lot of them didn't love outside their, their radius. Like, they didn't go anywhere outside their blocks. Aye. Cops wouldn't let them, really. Like, if right. a black man went up the street where we were living in, they'd be pulled in. But then, uh, do you know, what are you doing? They stayed in their area. So you stayed in your area and you didn't know anything outside it. So they just thought, do you know the lucky charms at? Ty. So we Dan was along me and he's wee and white and orange hair. So I was saying, Dan's a leprechaun. <laughs> 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 no way! He looks like the cover of Lucky Charms, seriously! <laughs> I was 100%. That's like fucking Michael D. Higgins. He like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. looks like a wee <laughs> roulette and he's like, boy, fuck it out. No, all that's there. But they used to ring, collect call, and you'd be walking past and they'd be chatting to fucking Leroy, be chatting to whoever, his wife, and they would just go, well, hold on, do lucky charms, do lucky charms with my wife, and you're going over, and I'm putting on an Irish accent, how'd you go in there? <laughs> <laughs> you're not even doing your own accent. No, I could have just says, how you doing? <laughs> but I was like, I was doing Irish, <laughs> me Irish, because I knew they wanted to hear the, ock me lucky charms. It's me, Conor McGregor. I, I fight any one of you, so <laughs> you do nothing. Uh, you do a cracker. Is this on your show? The but you do about. I don't even want to give your stuff away, like because it's what? a cracker. That was it's like the end of your show. You did on like you headlined the Kosh. Yeah, fair play to you last month. Uh, oh, the singing, brilliant. Uh, yeah, I probably will. Well, the whole bit up it. Yeah, and yeah. man, it's amazing how much I get away with. Like, so we were even talking about that gig. That so it was she and Todd was the face. Uh huh. And then Shane tried, had to get away early and I asked, was it possible? If not, he would have stayed. And I said, Shane, you're the boss. You know what I mean? So you were opening. So I flipped the whole thing and we were thinking, if it, what way is the audience going to go? Because when I went, everybody so Oh, man, that was we've, funny at the We've start got five it. acts coming on and five of them are amazing. And this is the thing about clubs. You need to see everybody to see and make your own mind up. And the good thing about it, if you don't like one, you go to the next. I said, so first up, we've got Shane Todd. Yeah! And I says, and, uh, and at the very end, our headline act, Ian Thompson. And you say, crickets. You see one score. Who the fuck? <laughs> Put in the back. You just hit the back. It was actually, it was like having a death. Even like, I was like, fuck's sake. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm even. <laughs> Book ended it as this man and his hairdo and his, his but man, you. So everybody sort of killed, didn't we? So that's what I'm saying. You have to trust the clubs. Fenton killed for f- fucking three hours. So fun, <laughs> yeah. Fenton do 15. It's the first time you've ever... Like, that was his first time doing a set. Uh-huh. He's always emceed. Yeah. And I've done it about two, two times, I think. And I says, you need to do a set because it's completely different oh, from what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You can enjoy it more and all. 15 minutes, he did half an hour. And I'm up doing the flash and the light at him and I just ignored it. He probably didn't even see it. See when you're on a, on a run. Yeah. And you're just taking off. Aye. And I was thinking, that's something done now. 20 minutes. I was like, fucking... And there's one more thing before we go. Ten minutes. <laughs> but yeah. It was, but it's killing, so you can't... Exactly, yeah. I mean, they, they were loving it. it. And, like, and they loved it. And then Rory killed it. And then who else was on? Jasmine. Jasmine smashed it to you. And then you went up and took the fucking... It's the best I've seen you. Uh, well, well that, I haven't seen you in a while because we all we always improve. Don't we, year by year? Oh, I. So I, I haven't like, seen you in a wee while. Ah, uh, it's funny how, you, like, sometimes you'll not gig with together. someone for months and then you do five Six together. Or, uh, yeah. it was mad. So it was just like, fuck, they loved you. And that was just testament. They trust the club. Aye. Like, we knew you were a good man. They sat in for 
the headline like it was just like do you know what I can and guess we're talking just about how good Derry is and they were just talking about the buzz it was the brickwork they were talking about it wasn't your club but anyway they were saying that the fucking Derry crowds are <laughs> see I found out with Tyrone <laughs> thank you here thank you, and, thank uh, you, thank you. Just... and dailies but no Derry as well like yeah. I think sometimes in Belfast they're a wee bit more I think, or something. I think what happens with Belfast is there's so many options on every night. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm set paying money to come and see you, make me laugh. Yeah. But when you come to Straban, you're going, I've seen you on the TV, this is amazing, thanks for coming. Aye. And Straban too, we've got them at the stage where they'll appreciate you. Aye. Do you know, a lot of the boys come and do their work in progress this year, so uh-huh. they're up for you trying, and they're, it's a great place for people to start out. Yeah. Because Straban, for some reason, I, we warned them on that right enough. Threaten them to be nice, but they do. They with this this thing. It's like we want you to do well, and we'll give. Do you know what I mean? There's times you can do a five minute set here and think you're fucking Mickey Bartlett, and you well, go somewhere else, and it's just uh, everyone <laughs> wants you to do well at every club. Like, but <laughs> there are just times when uh, you know, I find gigs in the black box in the afternoon when it's fucking Aye. light outside. Like I've had some good ones. You did. The, you had a good one when I died, me. Oh, was that <laughs> was the, that? Uh, <clears throat> Still you, have, face. you have to make a person laugh when I was on first. So I think it's if you don't want to laugh, it's easy. But do you know Paul Burns that was there? Aye. Aye. Have you gigged with him? No, I see. He's a top he used to. Like. No, after they came up and said you were hilarious, but I was just looking at your forehead. Aye, so, they, so now you're not uh, listening. I'll so be, I'll be good at that. I, <laughs> oh, you be But I got him right away. Bastard. <laughs> I just went straight up and called him a fiend bastard. <laughs> 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 I uh, yeah, lost no, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm shit." And then that night opened for him and did well. That's the thing about this game, man. I know. I know. It's just, isn't it? It is bizarre. Like, I mean, just, I mean, that set that I did at the Kosh, like, and it was just, you were having to wait for the applause to stop, and then you could do it, like, the next night, a different audience, and get nothing. Like, uh, I supported, I supported Mickey last year, and um, there was two shows: one on the Wednesday, one on the Thursday, at the top of the town in Antrim. Uh, and I had to leave after I'd finished both nights. And on, on the Wednesday, they just weren't interested in me. Uh, and I messaged him saying, how did you find it? Like, after I'd gone. And he was like, oh, fucking brilliant. Like, <laughs> you know, they were class. And then the next night, <laughs> everything I said, they were loving it. Message Mickey that night. How was it? Because you're back when they were brilliant. He was checked back just going, there were a bunch of humorless cons. <laughs> and they had 40 minutes. <laughs> Uh, Mickey says I could do two hours and 30 minutes in some rooms, if you know what I mean. Aye. Just like fucking nobody. Like, you have to rely sometimes on laughter. They, they bulk out your, your But it's mad. It's like the same stuff. Just has to be something about the atmosphere and the farm or yep. do, the, do the lakey straight away. Aye. Like, yeah. you can look like somebody that fucking battered you when you're young. Sometimes I hate people before I meet them but just because they look like somebody that was sick of me at school or something. Mm. Like, oh, I 100%. Fucking, I. I don't, I'm not even giving them a chance, you know what I mean? Just look at them and go, you're staring that's, that's right the way at me. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're staring at me hard there. When Niall started working with me, I was like, who the fuck? Why did we hire him? It's always the one the one person that's not smiling the whole you night. It's the, the one you can't take your eyes off. Like, that's serious, isn't it? Remember what was the Gaelic club we did last, was it last year or two years ago? Owen Rose. Aye. Glenn. Aye, Owen Rose. Aye, 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 there was aye, one aye. woman in that who just... Did not we got crack a, a smile all night. Like she kept uh, the whole room was in stitches, but they, there was two of them actually just just sat. They did that. Remember in the one I did, the two I said, "Fuck, she transvestites at the front row of the faces, and you, you wouldn't fucking know." No, just fucking cheeky, can't he? No way. But but a lot of people are turning up those events, not no more. Well, the, the GA ones are like that. Aye. <clears throat> yeah. Look, I heard a comedian doing, and there it's like one of them villages as well. And I was killing for 10 minutes. And then I did the next 10 minutes chatting about loving, he loves getting his hair set or he likes his hair. <laughs> and the whole place was just right. over there knitting needles going, get to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but if you go down to some of them areas, like, you know. That's it, wee bit backward. Aye. Uh, but homophobic, like, you know, some of them real. Remember, boy, says the boy that, no, that no played for the team with uh, the N word player. I know, uh, hey. There's um, a don't go, man, don't go. That's what I'm talking about. Remember a guy working with us says there's no drugs in my village? Aye. I says, do you think that most people would just sit down in front of the barman and whip it out and start chopping it and snuff it in front of him? Aye, I was like, definitely it's not. It's only Straban that happens. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> That's why it's called Charlie's Bar. 
<laughs> not bad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm here all day. Guys, you're, you're actually back here on the 1st of March. That's correct, yeah. More with, jokes like that. <laughs> with cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody comes, gets a line each. Yeah. But the 1st of March, um, in the boiler room, what do you call your show? You love it. You fucking love it. And you fucking love it. I'm telling you now, you need to get tickets to this because... I actually said to you, because Fenton did a half an hour the last time, right? I went down and she says, ah, I know I told you, 25 to 30, but could you bring it down to 20? And you went, no problem. I says, it's just because, it, this is me thinking people are going to get restless. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, when you were on and you were 20 minutes, I was looking, going, oh, please do more. I, I swear to God, I, I was thinking, and you did another five, I think, or six. 20, this was the night you got half. everybody in 23 and a half, but I was thinking, I should have told you to just do 40, because people were loving it. And was I this was the night you got everybody singing DUP in Uh No, no, this was at the Kosh. The Kosh. Oh. But, uh, the last gig in the Kosh. Aye. Uh, I've not done that chant for a while, actually. It's, yeah, uh, bring it back, Strand. Or, or TUV these days. <laughs> 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 Eamon does a joke about the DUP or something. It's a good one, too, yeah. But, no, the 1st of March, the boiler room, and I know everybody's skimped at the minute because of the long January. Jesus. You'll people, be getting paid between people now People paid and early in December, and then, that's what I says, I were, do you know when you get paid early? It's like when you get new toilet roll. Oh, and you fucking... <laughs> And then when you get down to your last toilet rolls, like when your last tenner, that week before you get paid, the many folds you can do. Oh, that do you know why? See, when I get to be... Get the, the I just way. used my last tenner and give <laughs> it a rinse on the so it was up. <laughs> I just take it out of work. I just jump on the shower after. I just take the, the <laughs> toilet roll out of work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'd say you do. You are a thieving here too. You're thieving off the parking ticket, man. You're thieving off work. You're thieving just... Leaving uh, bikes out of China. That's it. Uh, <laughs> dirty bastard. You painted them, right? No, fuck, I'm hired, man. You get the normal one? Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for offering me a pint. You weren't here. here. And <laughs> it's Guinness. <laughs> Protestants Are you driving else. home after this, Ian? <clears throat> yes, but I could have had a Guinness Zero. You could have, yes. Yeah. When you're down. Well, you I've got, 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 got a wee bottle of Agua with me, so I'll be all right. You still work on gardening? Have a guess. Gardening? Yeah. It's um, landscaping, so garden. no, that, 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 I probably do hey, more gardening. Are you still gardening? Huh? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Aye, is it therapeutic or is it fucking dig that hole? No, nah, man, it's it's good because you've no one fucking giving you a hassle, you really. Bus? No, um, which I was for a while, but I prefer not to. Aye, um, uh, just do it and work. But like, I you just, I mean, even when it's pissing on, you don't even really notice. It. You've got the head down and the headphones. Is it private houses you do or? A uh, bit of private, few hotels, and then a couple of big like industrial areas where you're cutting hedges and car parks and all yeah, that. But if you're going back, it's more or less keeping it good. Some Instead of them, of sh- like sh- sh- some of the residential ones, we do. It's like a five star hotel. Like you've got to just keep it down. It's yeah, like just aye. easy. So they're paying like for two of us to come in half a day a aye. week to keep it so I remember the first time I went to some of them I was like what the fuck are we going to be doing here hmm. but it's literally like lifting branches and getting all the leaves uh, out and, and keeping it, it postcard like yeah, yeah. Uh, so no it's great like and you know you're you're out and about and you know you're exercising so you can eat and drink air. what I you want to do it, I used to do it myself that one of us we you know, go and plug that lawnmower in will you I'll cut your grass remember I remember doing my uncle's one time and it was fucking took us three days we actually found a shopping trolley in his grass. That's what? how short his fucking with grass ele- was. an electric lawnmower? Hey, <laughs> but the start to get... Mm, <laughs> no, did, you have to, did you have to hold your face and like that? Go, had to, <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't have to get grass in your nostrils... Do you know what? I was watching you do that. We were doing a talk today too at work and there's for some reason... <laughs> Hunch thing where when you're talking, you're like, So everybody's here. That yeah. your, your comedy's a wee bit like that, too. I have to hold back the day because I was doing serious talks and with calm people, ladies and gentlemen, and everything. I was like, Oh, oh man, the most awkward finish the event I've ever had in my life. Why? So the last the last guest speaker finished, was like, Right, that's me now. So Ronan should probably not know, right? Thanks everybody for coming. That's us now. <laughs> he just walked across the front of the stage and went, Right, everybody, I choose. Uh, <laughs> I've done that I, there. I got a laugh. <laughs> So. And then it was pure quiet. Uh, was like, don't talk to me about you then. today. You were just useless. Hey, I could have killed Tom that hey. Just did everything wrong. Just oh. and not caring. I t- answering the phone and all. I'm saying, where's Tommy? No boy that's meant to do the the guest speaker. Uh-huh. And he's meant to be on it five months. And he rings me. New buttons. I'm like, uh, right, we're going to have to no. shuffle things about. Then there's a wee girl doing a presentation. 
And I welcome to the stage. And she's like, have you got the presentation? I was like, I welcome it. She was like, you're not supposed to. I was like, oh, fuck, out the car. No, no, I roll. No. <laughs> How many people was in front of them? That was about 50 maybe or something. Uh, maybe more. Yeah, more. And I mean, then I had to keep them talking while he's away running outside to get the... <laughs> Literally sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> and then back in and on, put that in. And then the, then the sound check, we tried that and it worked. No, you didn't. No, it did work. Uh, but sure, she said that she got it wrong. Why? She said she didn't. She didn't. Said, said paired, but she didn't click it for connected. <sighs> so that was her fault. I'm like, we're not music technicians. I was no, you were. Like, you, you, were <gasps> no, <gasps> was, you were given one job. We were given ten jobs. You went wrong back looking for, like oh. you ran out of just like Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> that was a silly wee joke. I Let's heard. Let's get the pen guys. I heard <laughs> recently about. Um, I've got a Polish friend who's a sound technician, and a Czech one too. <laughs> I love stupid fucking dad yeah, jokes. Yeah, like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> the other dad one was uh, <laughs> boy was walking down the street with a big long pool. Your man said to him, "Hey, you a pole vaulter?" He was, "No, I'm German." But how the fuck do you know me? <laughs> 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 oh, what is it? I know what you're getting at. How do you know my name's Walter? Uh, yeah. How the fuck do you know my name's Walter? Uh, right. <laughs> so uh, that's the tumble. How was your How was your Guinness? <laughs> Not better than I joke. That's not my joke. What's uh, what's with the, the French? You see the boy walking down the streets in Straban. Eamon's over there as well. Just he like just white, white and blue. Nah. Yeah, I think that makes my muscle. muscles look big. Me and Eamon. You and Eamon, I. Fuck me. What do you think? Uh, what do you think about Klopp going? Break my heart. I broke my heart, but I'm sort of. Do you know what? Is a genius. There's this is not a genius move because I've noticed that Klopp has been agitating people this last about six months a year. People don't, they're coming out and saying, you see him complaining about this. And maybe he's thinking, right, after this is going to be like a downhill thing, one less, be cheeky, be annoyed, people are going to stop liking him. I think he just jumped at the right time, probably. Yeah. And, and that's genius for you? That's genius that he knows when they leave, rather than fucking outstay your welcome. Like, if everybody loves him in Dortmund. He's a legend. He'll always be I a legend. I sort of now, quit like, while he was ahead. Well, he left it with the team young, not like Ferguson. I'd say Ferguson, when I seen who was coming after him, was going, fucking nobody's going to get my record. Now. Yeah, uh, yeah. But then Klopp's was, genuinely concerned about the club. Well, Fer- Ferguson sort of bowed out at the top as well. Would you think of like Arsene Wenger, where like, uh, it he, just sort of dragged uh, on? It dragged on, but then, I, do you know what? They were right to get rid of him, because as soon as he went, they never got, he got into the Champions League the whole time he was there. Yeah, but... Like nearly every season he was in the Champions League. Uh, but he never fucking Just won it. The RFA Cup. We got to the final. Remember, the the keeper was sent off straight away. Ah, uh, that's right. Well, we'll we'll to see how the season leagues. pans out. Like, yeah, three would be good. The perfect end of the season for me, you know, it would be Klopp winning them four trophies because we're still on for four, and Zavi Alonso. Zavi. Zavi Alonso won it. Zabby Gabor, ex Zabby, tall chair in your Man United top, fucking your fucking top. Zabby, <laughs> Zabby, fucking McFadden, ja- Yabba Zabby. I pronounce this Zabby. Z. The, the proper way to do it. It's like Buffalo, <laughs> Buffalo, Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you support him? He wins the league, and Rangers, you bastard. No, I, I, you are. I, 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 I was a Liverpool fan. I was a Rangers fan at one stage, like, but that just. Not really at all. It's weird, like, but I have to know the scores. Like, I have to know. Like, I, I couldn't be arse sitting through a game anymore, pretty much. But I'll check the scores. Like, mm. there's matches I'll do every Saturday. Watch, like. The Premier League matches. Like, it always has to be one in the top ten for me to be sort of interested. Like, if you've Burnley against fucking Atkinson Stanley, I'm not watching. <laughs> Atkinson <laughs> Stanley. Zabby. Stanley. Zabby. 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 That's the name of the pod, Zabby. Yeah, uh, we're Z. <laughs> Zachariah. Zabby Dabby Do. <laughs> That's racist. Anyway, it's all about you tonight, Ian. Well, well, we really talk about the hair because it's aggressive. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I should should mention <laughs> it's aggressive. It's angry looking. So uh, it it all started in about October, November. My missus said to me, "She goes, I bet you if you had hair now, it would be grey." And I was like, "I bet you it wouldn't." Like cause my dad, my dad never had any grey hair until he was like in his sixties. And uh, did he keep his hair, or was it like it was like this? I um, but. Uh, 
so then when we were in New Zealand, going to New Zealand, I was like, fuck it, I'll not, I'll not bring my clippers. Like, I'll see. Like, let it go for about three weeks. And then my son was like, I would pay money if you grew that for six months. <laughs> <laughs> six I, months. I was just like, right. I mean, he's like, okay. five and a half, huh? <laughs> How long have you grown it already? <sighs> Ten weeks or something. Will it go Terry Nutkins? Will it go? Yeah. Well, that's, that's the ultimate goal, like. That's oh. what I'm hoping for. Who else? That's the ball, like, happy. The guy from fucking... Riff Raff from the Rocky, Rocky Horror okay. Show. Aye. Uh, and the, the bad guy from, what do you call the... Mr. Smithers. The, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film. No, Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. Aye, Mr. Burns. But what was this? What's the Arnold no. film the shape one? Uh, Police Academy? No. The boy that went... No, no, Paddy McDonald was saying it looked like the body from Robocop, but... I can't really. It's like a RoboCop hairdo. Uh, <laughs> the boy. Uh, well, that's my normal hairdo. Uh, I know the boy's on about. Oh, the fucking. Jesus. But. Uh, ah! We don't know. Bill Bailey as well. And Did you ever see the alcoholic in the trailer park, lads? Look a bit like him on it. The who's, trailer who's park, the, lads? The trailer park boys? Did you ever watch that? No. You've never watched the trailer park boys? Neither, eh? Boys! Fucking great. It's just like fucking Straban. <laughs> just useless hers. But there's an alcoholic. He's dead now. Forget his name, hey, but fuck his pipe was bent. For go on, Google it. Leahy. Bet you it's Leahy. Mr. Leahy. He was like in charge of the 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 park. Oh, that he have the a trailer skull? park. So he's uh, skull it, but he runs around with a cop. He's a former cop. Right. But he still thinks he's a cop, so he's investigating people, and they're all taking drugs and shooting at each other and fucking... That's one of them. Bubbles and all of the big eyes. I remember. I know who that is. But Gip, we watched that at the start, me and the wife, and thought this is done. Uh-huh. And then next month, you didn't want to miss a fucking episode. Yeah, yeah. Jim Leahy. Jim Leahy. Fuck, show the picture. So, look into that camera here, because I'm going to superimpose a wee Jim Leahy. That's a my... See him there? That's him being... That's the actor shot. You want to see yeah. him when he's on the show? That's nice. The other one, see it. The other one's Chairman Mao. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get a brush back. And that's mad about a hair comes on the head and all this fucking bullying and racism starts. So what are you going to go for? Huh? Is it ginger? Oh, aye. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look as ginger as no. it at, at once was, but... Uh, Do you want a paint? Still hanging in there. No. There he is. Speaking of alcoholics. <laughs> No, 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 no. Have you a card there, no? No, ah, it's like... You bastard. Yeah. How convenient. No, I'll leave it, just leave it. I'll get you one, I'll cook. Get me one. <laughs> he doesn't want one, do you? No, I'll leave it, just yeah, leave it. No, I'm good. Cheers, Eamon. Yeah. Nope. Cram bastard on about one there in five months ago. Thanks, Eamon. He's a content, So what are you going to leave it for? Huh? How long ago? The 7th of June will be six months since the, since the shit. Last time I shaved it was the 7th of December. Oh, man, you need it for the boxing. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I, Vivian, I was thinking young ones. Get the studs in the head. And the Key Flint. Right. Um, the class. It all depends how much... How As much a kid in the uh, do you wear hats all the time? Pretty much, yeah. So it's not for charity or anything? No, it is for charity. It's for Macmillan Cancer Support. Oh, right, so okay. I'll give you the link and you can stick it on right, the okay. podcast. Definitely. Jeez. <laughs> not just doing it for the bands. Yeah, but... <laughs> but it sounded like you were doing it for the bands. You so see, it doesn't go like fuck my, my fucking missus and my daughter in particular is just like, oh my God. God, like she is, like genuinely there is upset. Wee, there's loads of wee <laughs> Oh, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, I might just keep them <laughs> at the end of it. She's just go ahead. How upset is she? But it's weird. Like, there's people I've known for twenty years who've never seen me with any hair at all, and they're just like, "Holy fuck!" And then especially there's one of them ones. What is it about you? <laughs> no, they don't know. But then there's someone. You know, it's like uh, I did the same when November was ugly. Back before, now having a moustache is normal. Now, uh, I know. But Remember, I held one a few years back. Mental. Actually, I've got one on the poster for you, love it. There you go. That's right, though. Um, Ooh, you yeah. know what's funny? When you're having the crack and it's you no, know, when there's a joke behind it, but, and like everybody, like, it's funny and it's like, I'm doing it for this. But when you're in a shop buying 10 fags, and exactly. nobody knows. Yeah. And the only thing, do you see the moustache and mullet as a thing now? Yeah. But there, you can go into the nearest joke shop and buy that. Like, what's that say about your fucking style? That it's actually a prop. Like, people got dressed up as it. Give me a moustache and mall combo. You know what I mean? <laughs> then you got a beautiful shell suit, the whole fucking lot. No, it's just style. Well, it goes around. Times change, don't skinny it? Skinny jeans, flares, skinny jeans, flares. Is, is this style? Boot cut. Am I yes. looking at style? Yeah. 
It's called you're, fashion. You're wearing black. Is that black tractor bottoms and navy? Blavey. Blavey, you're not. That's against the law there, look. Alone. Blavey. Just do you fight there? No. Against the law? The fashion Blavey, law? you can't do black and... You're Blavey. black and navy as well? That's navy and navy, man. What's that, mate? Yes, mate. All right, mate. Fucking. Right here, you're fucking. That's the gardener. That's the gardener's uniform. <laughs> How come you're not big? <laughs> <laughs> you're not big trees and stuff. I'm not fucking dragging trees about all day, look. That's where I put on weight. I come from home from work as a f- woman. What have you made for me? <laughs> as if I was out digging holes all day. Uh, Sit in the front of the computer. Man, honestly, see if I hadn't gone into gardening, I'd be a fat bastard by now. You want to see when I worked in a fucking office in Edinburgh, with, like a Greg's next door? Oh. I look at photos of me from 2009 and I just look unhealthy my fucking skin's mm. got like a yeah. sheen my favourite when I was in America was McDonald's for lunch and then a cheeseburger deluxe every night for dinner nice every night for every night for a year cheeseburger deluxe this should get in your because I didn't I only had six dollars and I didn't want to risk buying something that one didn't, didn't like. follow me up or didn't like I'm not risking that for good shit there so get what I like and just keep eating it yeah never cook anything yourself no, I don't know. Over there. Buy I, remember, I remember the first week was over. You know, you live, we always thought about you live off your ma until you leave, move out and you realise, fuck. So I, I remember buying a bag of spuds, four stone bag of spuds in the, the mall or the shop. Why does this shop in America? <laughs> the mall or, or the, the shop. shop, so you understand. You know. But the, the, Are you going to the shop? Well, Americans just do this. Like, they would come over and lift two or three spots out and put it on their bag and weigh it and head on. I'm fucking coming to fucking fall to four stone bags. Are you Irish? We always bought four stone bags, like, before we left. So I just remember. Just them like apples uh, straight out of the bag. Partying all weekend and then it was just spuds and butter for dinner for, like, all week. Did that for about oh, three weeks and I went, oh, nah, I have it. Was it real butter? Real butter. Oh, you were, pr- you were fucking ready for it? Oh, I, I like spuds and butter. Mm. Do you still have spuds and butter? We were sharing a house with it, and would you ever, like, see if you're sharing with somebody? Would you ever open a box of cornflakes and take a bowl? Or would you wait till they're open? What, if you're sharing a house with someone? Sharing, it's not your food, like. Actually, in the press, it says, do not touch. I would ask. If they're not there, say they're in the next room. Uh, uh. <laughs> Why were you one for Nick and everyone sure, else's? I was, like, facing that way. I'm not going to turn the whole way around and ask. No, I have a mate that opened the box and I said, I had the whole row. And I said, man, you can't open the box. No, I was doing well. I'm filtrating their food brilliantly. And then I brought a friend in to live in the other spare room. No one wanker comes over from Ireland. We already stay. Come on in here, man. And then I end up getting through out of the place. So was he paying rent, this friend that you brought on? Not only was he not paying rent, but he, the landlord rang me. He says, running like you, me, some money. I says, what are you talking about? Ringing, you're ringing Ireland like every night for like 25, 30 minutes from the landline. This is definitely wasn't me. <laughs> the mate that I didn't tell him was telling when we did it. Is that why you ended up in jail? The same Open mate. someone else's corner for me, brother. Lying in the other bed. Call me a cunt. And there was another one of them going, it definitely wasn't me. Mm. But and do you, know when I, do you know whenever she fucking, and this is the truth, do you know whenever she got on to me? A week after the her went home. Ah, oh, man. He's home more at Eric. I'm sitting with this big 200 There's no right ball. answer there, but... You can't win. No. Pay up. Who was Didn't he pay, so I had to leave. Your ma? What? Was he ringing your ma? Ringing home, just the people. I don't know who he was ringing. When was this? Late Back 90s? In ni- uh, 95, 96. You remember that? Landline. Fucking, like, uh, just <laughs> like an international phone call with a bank. Do you know what I was thinking of today for some reason? Do you remember like when sort of mobile phones became like fucking commonplace? Uh. Do you remember you didn't get free calls until after 7 o'clock? That's right. Yeah. And like you would be waiting until 7 p.m. Uh, to phone your mate. Thing, I remember, I remember the first time Texas started and my mate used to go, Look, he just sent that to me there now. This is not literally there. I'm telling you, as soon as he sent it, lands with me. I, said, I remember that way, Facebook. I'm chatting to somebody over in London like, and they're texting me now right away. No, it was just mental that, uh, that you could text somebody. Text was the thing. It was like that was the first... Fucking Man, I was on the phone today, and do you know what I need to know is the phonetic alphabet? Uh huh. So they're like, what is that? <laughs> S-A-M, and you're like, Sierra, S Alpha, for snail, and A Mike. for... <laughs> S for S for ass, and... S for shimmus. <laughs> what? I, know. I said S for... I, I, I actually said S for Sammy, because I was thinking snake. <laughs> Sammy the snake. Sammy the player. S for th- Sammy. 
S with a S. Is that an F? I know it For well. For Frank Noss. I know it off by heart from the time of the British Army. Eh? Oh, lock up my oh. door. Oh. And I don't know if that's real or not. Huh? No, no, no. It. But you were in one of them, not Holmes. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <laughs> Presents. <laughs> you were in jail a long time ago. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, you were in a... What do you call it? Boarding school. Boarding school. Yeah, but they didn't yeah. teach you the phonetic alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> I forget everything. But, uh, Alpha we need to hear about that. What's, what was that like? Uh, was there ribbons? I fucking hated it. Jesus. Uh, was ribbons. there bombings? Oh, let him, let him, let him build up to that. This, do you know the film Sleepers? Was that based on... I don't know the film, but there was lots of rimming and bombings. <laughs> um, do you know him and Michael? We had love to get him on there we sleeping bag. No, just for one. <laughs> right. And just, no, naked. Why? Just look at him sitting over there like a bird in a tree. Yeah, dry right. <laughs> <laughs> you leave, leave the hand on. I second, I'd be a cracker, but wouldn't it? That the two of us just had cold, get into the sleeping bag, and then I pull the nags out, and, <laughs> <laughs> and Eamon's wee face just down. There's another wee thing I'm thinking of doing, uh, is, do you know why I'm fighting guests? Is, I was trying to get a video, because I was going to go out, I'm friends with travellers, and just come out of the caravan and do them boys all be by me. But I was That's thinking, cultural appropriation, uh, right? I know. So I was thinking of using Eamon instead with a vest on and Fenton with a vest on and then who else was I thinking? Big Declan. My pride. My pride. <laughs> Tight vest on. But the whole time we're doing it we're cutting out Fenton's head because it's that tall. <laughs> I'm going out and he's coming out fighting. <laughs> and, just, just, and I just I can see I can see I can just picture it. I remember the, fir- the first time I did the terrace and Mark Rafelt and Fenton was MC and I like up on the mic stands fucking way up there like, <laughs> and I couldn't get the fucking bastard out. I says, Where do you wear the flares to? He says, You don't want to see me in Jane Pipes. He says, just, just, just right, you and Fenton that is Mac and me together like, oh right. I right. big Fenton <laughs> the best I saw was a comedian taking the mic out of the, the Mac Stanley couldn't get it and he, he was like really pulling and just fucking walked himself <laughs> in the face. Connor Keyes we were on his tour we were doing one and it was one of them gigs where he was putting out fires just I've never seen a man fucking do it as well oh, I heard that but enough. he fucking went the so he had a bottle of water in that hand and the mic in that hand and he went to take a drink or something <laughs> <laughs> I says I would have straight away turned around and started chatting under the water there, dude. but I apologised oh sorry so like, that was it <laughs> what's, the worst thing, what's the worst thing you've done on stage like that embarrassing myself fuck apparently Jesus I've never the, the worst one that ever that, that, that really fucking was hard work for me that really cringed me was one of the, that thing in Oma the Keezy Keezy gets me in he turned the dry work thing was it no this thing was um, it was like a guy that was opening that copper fucking place. Uh, the so he's one. He's got most of copper the tap. So he's just like he got uh, Al Foran, the the comedian. Uh, does uh, the voices? What do you call him? Al Foran. What's what's it? Is, that's what he does. Impressions. Impressions. And I had to be the interview. Does the voices? I had to be the interview. But Connor turned it down. Don't know why. But the whole page of things on. I just landed that day, and this is. Where's the stage? Oh, there's no stage. And just handed me a mic. And I was standing in the middle of a restaurant where people were eating. Ah, oh, man. And I just went, hello, Liz. And there was people around corners that didn't even see us. Like, the majority were around corners. And he was sitting beside me. And I just, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Nobody even turned around. Man, I... Just I, kept on me eating and all. And going, ah, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Roland Boyle, your host for this wee part. And none. Oh, Somebody man. just got served your steak right beside my arse. Mm-hmm. I was like, standing away from They were sitting there and the steak was going down. And I had a couple of Christmas corporate gigs like and it, it's just brutal like everyone's everyone's just wanting to get pissed on the company and, 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 then, and, and uh, catch up with each other and when like. you're, see when you're catching up with mates especially if you're all welders fucking talking shit no. well, shush know. everybody Rudolph wants to talk you see if I was eating dinner I wouldn't want to see your face I'd be like ah. But and me the, talking, talking about fucking the wife. The worst thing about Literally it. Literally fucking the wife. <laughs> oh, right, okay. The worst thing about it, though, is the, they'll just pick up on key words. So you'll be in the middle of doing your set, right. and they hear you say fucking pedo or finger. Call back to that on, just like, I'll tell you, Cracker, this has involved you. And it was the whole build up was one of our, me and Eamon's worst experiences when we did the jail up in oh, Delphi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looked so good in paper. And even Jordy Robinson texts me, goes, man, I always wanted to do, what do you call the. Come in. No. Come on road. Come on road jail now is a mu- museum and all. Listen to you booking on the fucking <laughs> He booked on he's going to watch James Gallery, he booked on the fucking hotel. You've already done that. You've already done James that. was fighting in Belfast. Yeah, dopey her. Anyway. We were on the uh, 
I landed on a new straight away because the guy handed me a karaoke mic and there was no sound man. Oh, dear. And nobody could hear us. And then I was doing this. Was that bad? I was pretending I was chatting to somebody up at the sound machine. Oh, it'll be sorted after the break, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about that. I, Fuck, even, I didn't know that before <laughs> I went up. I even changed from MC to going, hey, boys, we're really. You know what I mean? Just call on the next time. Oh, act. dear. Do you know something? I actually really enjoyed yeah, it. Well, I'll, but I'll tell you what happened. There was, must have been a must have been a mixed crowd, and there must have been fucking I, loud. That's not yeah. because he does a bit thing where uh, you do a couple of jokes. There's not the rad joke, and there's another. But because he didn't hear him right, all you heard down the back was some, one singing the Queen song and back at him. No, they were fucking si- singing the sash about <laughs> five of them down the back, I, and I was just like, "Will you just fuck up?" When he was on, somebody come up and says, "Just straight up the stage now, woman." While he was talking, goes, "We can't." <laughs> but that was the weird thing about that gig. I was the one sitting right in front of you, couldn't hear you, and the people Aye. at the back could. It was like so I was dealing with, when I put the mic in my mouth, everybody there heard me. When I, they didn't, so when I went, wow, they could hear me then. And it was just tight, tight, and it was just one of them ones. And I was lucky. You actually did well, but you still only got 30% of the room, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So the people you were making laugh was, you were enjoying that, but I was at the back and people were going, what's fucking saying? I fucking can't hear anything. Yeah. Bast. And then, it was only Kieran Bartlett was music. So when he put the guitar on, it fucking, you could hear it well, because of the acoustics too, it was shit. So uh, he went up and fucking went to town too, but. Did he use the I mic? met the person that ran it the next day and all, and says, hey, I had to pay people back, you know. Fucking paid people looking their money. Back. If you could, but it was, no, it was a, it was a decent show, but it was like their fault because they didn't. I says is the sound all right, and on it goes, oh, we've got the house thing, and they must know what they're at. And, but it was just a wee car you couldn't hear anything. Do you know what I mean? And then they were blaming us for being a side show. So I would, they flipped it on us, and I was going, it wasn't us. Oh, but at the same time, like I thought, all the sound stuff sort of the day too. Ah, oh, you bastard! Just today. goes up the fucking left. There's times I want to kill you like death. You know that, and that's good for this podcast. Like, we, you know, we can hear it in the back, so I walked in the back and you can hear it no bar. No, I hate it. it. I hate it when my mum and dad fight. I bleach it. I love when he says I can hear it no but You can hear it, but Blee you said couldn't fuck hear it. Blee was like, fuck up. Blee was like, fuck up. Blee said, fuck up. Blee the fat recently, so <laughs> don't fucking tell me to fuck up, Blee. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go straight to fat? <laughs> Just look at him with them tight jumpers on. I can't. Anyway, sorry. It's quite all right. Sorry, that was quite an effect. Oh, uh, oh, God. We're at 57, so do you want to just finish up on Ian's show? I do it right this time. Yes, 1st of March, Charlie's Bar, Straban, free cocaine for the first You have to come and see it, and it's going to be an experience, and um, Eamon's going to be here, I'm going to be opening, and... Leanne Toland. Leanne Toland, great, because it's a great night. Oh, aye. For only eight quid. Yep. Cheaper than the normal gigs. Is the owner's a fiver? Fuck up! <laughs> you, just, you just ruined now the the promo. But she has eyes. She went to five. But the owner's doing a work, work in progress. He's, uh, he's right. doing his. Oh, this is, is your polish. Is is uh, your, I, I don't know what it is. This is your. This is your polish. Anybody, anybody. I, I might just do the owner's set since she's on the cut. Uh, uh, anybody that's seen you in Derry knows what they're on for. And it's like, as I say, you have to trust the club. We're not. Uh, we're not going to water down the service. If you know. Nah, it'll be. Uh, It'll go back and some bits and pieces. Aye, well, if you're if you're doing what I know you're going to do, you're just going to love it. And it's a Friday night, and then you can head on it. I said it's my He's birthday as well. Cocaine as well. It's your birthday. What is he? I'll be forty-five. Ooh, do you know what? I'm forty-seven. That's in three days' time. Are you? Mm. Can tell. Give him the bumps. Everybody's saying to me, "Cookie's getting well out looking." Who? Hey, 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 Kevin, hey. Kevin Gallagher, no Kevin, big Kevin Bob. You going to do something? Now? You fucking, He's fucking big half bad. blind. Aye, there you go. He said to me, we're going to fire nicer hair when he was drunk one night. <laughs> I sent me Texas. Were, were you sitting the same thing? These two <laughs> bastards of hair, but Roland, yours is fire nicer. <sighs> and then somebody else says, oh, somebody I'm else said to me, I'm having that. Like, somebody else says, I've, right, I look. I've less of the nicer hairs. We, we, like, how many years older than you? It's two. What are you now? 43. <sighs> Fucking four. I bet I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look 44 in a couple of weeks time as well you know what I mean that's because my face stretches out so what's all like for you for your birthday weekend she's away <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday well, that's, that's, yeah, I know that. that's not a bad present she's away and we're friends I don't care per wee fella 
Right, will we wrap it up there? Yes. But uh, Thank for, you very much, first of March, Ian Thompson, it's a show you don't want to miss. We're going to be there. It's just going to be a normal mental boardroom night. Night not to be missed. It'll be fun. Thanks for coming, Ian. Get Thank your, you for having your, me. Get your tickets Sorry, there. it was late. Click out there. Tickets mm-hmm. and sponsored skullet. Click I there. come see his hair. It's fucking aggressive. It's worth it alone. And you can give him abuse about it. Thank you. You're welcome. Up there. Get your tickets there. Up Bye. 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 Bye.